Question number five. A curve has a gradient function of, okay, so they give you the gradient function, gradient function is dy dx, passes through point P. Find the equation of the curve. So if you want to find equation, that means you are looking for the y equation, right? So y equation means we have to integrate the dy dx. So y equals to integrate 4x minus 6 dx. So you get 4x squared over 2 minus 6x. Don't forget to plus c. So you get 2x squared minus 6x plus c. So this is the y equation. But you cannot stop there because you need to find c. So we can put in the p value because it passes through p, right? So the x value is 1, the y value is 4. So we're going to substitute 4 equals 2 times 1 square minus 6 times 1. So, okay. So we want to find c. So we get 4 equals negative, oh, negative 4 plus c. So c is equals to 8, okay? So our equation is y equals to uh, 2x square minus 6x plus 8. Okay, so this is the answer for the first part. Okay, we have done the equation of the curve. Alright, question B. The normal to the curve at point P intersects the curve again at point Q. Okay, so you want to find coordinate Q. So first step, question B. You want to find... See, when they ask you to find the intersect, that means you need to get the equation of that uh, normal line, okay, and then do simultaneous with the the quadratic, the the curve equation that we got from question A. Okay, we need to do simultaneous. So the first step is you need to find the equation of the normal. Okay, this did they say it's a straight line? That yeah, I mean the normal should be a straight line now. Yeah, okay, makes sense. So the normal should be a straight line. So you get y equals mx plus c. So the first step is you need the gradient, and then you need to find the intercept. Okay, so the gradient of the curve. So the gradient of the curve we can find by First, we find the tangent first, okay, the tangent, because you're passing through point P, right? So we find the tangent of uh, the curve passing, uh, I mean, tangent to this point, point P, okay? So, okay, in case you don't understand, so let's say we've got a curve here, okay? And this is point P, let's say, 1, 4. So first, we find the tangent first, the gradient of this tangent, and then we want to find the normal. So we can use M1 times M2 equals negative 1. To find the gradient of this okay then with this gradient we can form the new equation the straight line okay because it's still passing through p right? correct so we're going to do that so first step uh, dy dx is 4x minus 6 so we want to find x equals to 1 at point p so you get negative 2 so the m1 is negative 2 so we want to find the normal right so normal is going to be m2 equals to negative 1 divided by m1. So negative 1 over negative 2, answer is 1 over 2. So the gradient of the normal is 1 over 2. So we can find the equation of the of the normal line. Okay. So y minus equation of straight line. Huh? We are going to pass through p again, right? So we're going to use p as the, the coordinate. So y minus 4 equals to 1 over 2 x minus 1 okay this formula is what y minus y1 equals to m x minus x1 okay i just substitute these two with point p and the gradient is 1 over 2 okay all right so we can just simplify this so you get y equals to 1 over 2 x minus 1 over 2 plus 4 so you get y equals 1 over 2 x um, you get positive 7 over 2. Yeah, so this is the equation of the straight line. So now we want to find the coordinate Q, right? So the intersect. So we have to do simultaneous between this and this. The normal, uh, the normal and the curve. So 1 over, we use substitution. Uh, equals to 2x squared minus 6x plus 8. So we can times 2, we take the whole equation times 2 because we've got a lot of fraction here. Take this times 2 so that we can eliminate all this. Okay. So what you will have is x plus 7 equals to 4x squared minus 
12x plus 16. So simplify this, bring everything to the left, so I uh, sorry, bring everything to the right. So I get 4x squared, negative 12 minus x, I get negative 13x. Positive 16 minus 7, I get positive 9. Okay, so this will be my equation. I want to find x, so I factorize. So I should get 4x minus 9 and x minus 1. So my x value is 9 over 4 and x equals to 1. Okay, so you see x equals to 1, x equals 9 over 4 is we already know p, p, uh, the coordinate p is what? 1, 4, right? Coordinate p is 1, 4. So here is already 1. So that means you know this is the coordinate p. La. This is coordinate p because coordinate p is 1, 4, right? So this is coordinate p. So that means this should be coordinate q. Correct? So we just have to find this one. Okay, because that, that, the, intersect between the, the straight line and the curve there are two points the first point is at point q the second one is at point p okay because you're passing through the normal is passing through the curve at point p so that is the first intersect already so but we don't need to find p we just need to find q so we just use the 9 over 4 so you just substitute into either one of these either this or this to find the y value of the point q okay so i'm just going to use the the first one, the curve. Okay, so y equals 2x. x is 9 over 4 square minus 6x, 9 over 4 plus 8. Okay, just use your calculator. You can either use it in decimal or fraction. So I'm using here in fraction. Okay, so I got 9 over, uh, sorry, 37 over 8. So my coordinate q will be 9 over 4, 37 over 8. Okay, either you write this, or if you want to write in decimals, you can. So this will be 2.25 and 4.625. Okay, so either one is correct. Both are point Q.